Here's your grid then. Travis Picoy on the inside was great last time out. Christian Brooks, we know he's fast in both ARX2 and RX2. Alex Keys and then Connor Martel, the hammer with a bit of extra space. Could be uh, could be hammer time. Is he going to nail it, Bucky? Well, if there's one guy from the outside that can that can attack, it's definitely Connor. Did you tell Connor about the new hashtag? Nailed it. Did yeah, you? and you know what? I actually did some research and I found out where Hammer came from. Go on. Actually, someone texted me and actually told my buddy Joe. But <laughs> Thanks, Joe. It, it's 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 uh I believe it's Norwegian for uh, his last name Martel. There we Hammer. are. There we are. Well, there Look, he is. There he goes. It's an unbelievable start. Absolutely brilliant. And that that grid slot is not favoured by some drivers. Make it Martel work, with a brilliant Make it start. Picoy on the inside though. Travis Picoy is going to go late on the brakes, and Christian Brooks is going to try and go through with him. Martel's trying to shut the door, but Brooks is up the inside, manages to move Look wide. At this. Oh my goodness Keys. me! Keys has gone up the inside too. So Martel, Whoa, dangerous wow. spot. Back. Brilliant start, and he's ended up at the rear lads. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a test of his strength to see where he comes from there here, he straight into the Joker. Let's see how he Martel. does on the slippy Joker. Tidy Joker Not as well, bad. guys. Do you think he was told Stayed before inside. the race? Spider definitely, definitely let him know. There we are. Nicely done. Very, very good. Martel with a decent joke up. He now is going to try and close the gap down on these guys. Pacoy's good through that transition. Whoa. I love it when you see someone transition the guard properly. Come on, Connor. Oh, he, hopefully the bank caught him there a little bit. I saw Connor tag the wall a little bit. Not as hard as Rimmer, though. Not as hard. There's a little bit of an embankment that builds up from everyone sliding towards the wall. So that kind of acts as like a catcher's mitt, kind of. So like a bit of a berm, basically. But it has its limits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's berm and there's wall. Yes. There is wall. Nobody oh, wants... Oh, mistake. Yeah. Or a bigger... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, Bikoi. Bikoi. Yeah, so Bikoi's pulled wide. That's a Bikoi's just Why gone wide. Why did he let him go? Over there. I think he's struggling with something. He's he's going to have to give way here, too, if he... If he... Bikoi's on a massive go slow. Interesting. So Bikoi, though, let Brooks through, and Brooks yeah. runs with him at the same Good squad, Dreyer and Reinbold racing. So he let Brooks through, and then he didn't let the next guy through, which is fair enough. You know, he's racing with his teammates, but that, that's pretty good awareness from him too, I think. I can that hear a flat spiders. engine. Can you hear the flat engine? It sounds like Pacoy's maybe only running on three cylinders. Wait till he comes past the commentary position now. Listen. Yeah, you can hear it. So the blue and yellow car of Pacoy's gonna come past now. Yeah. Ah, oh, Dan, you're gonna see, he, he should get, oh, is that smoke from the back of the car? It yep, is, it is, it's, it's gone. gone bang, big time. Get it off the racing line, get it off the racing line. Pacoy has done a motor. Didn't he do one last time, actually? He Bucky actually did, did one a Cota, yeah, didn't he? He did. Travis yeah, Pacoy. Keep those revs down a little bit, maybe. And it's a big job, too. Down Do you remember, it took, them, it took them most of the day, didn't it, to, to get the engine changed on Pacoy last time out of Cota. Yeah. Of it's course. another downfall with these cars. When you're inside of them, they're so loud. And if you're next to someone, you could be on the red, on the limiter. And you won't hear it than, the same yeah, way. because you're racing, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's only when you look in the rearview mirror and see smoke or uh, look at the data and see 18,000 RPMs that you realise the downshift was wrong. <laughs> Martel really closing on the back of the book now. Good spot, Nick Hamilton. Really got hammer down. He has indeed. I'm loving the nickname The Hammer. We need more nicknames in British <laughs> motorsport, don't we? we? We're not very good at nicknames, you know? We're, we're, we're too British. We're quite boring we're, like that. Yeah, we are. The Brazilians yeah. have some pretty gnarly nicknames. Do they? Oh, are, yeah. there, are there things we can use on TV? Absolutely not. No, I think... <laughs> <laughs> Brooks, I think it's going to take this one from Martel. The target time, remember, is Scott Anderson, 3.48.8. Nick, do you think the track's drying out here? I mean, it, look, we've seen some dust. Yeah, definitely. It's time to dry, dry out, but also because of the, the water, it's sort of created some ruts as well. So. Uh, really really different from, from from lap to lap still you know things are changing but drivers are getting a lot more confident with where the grip levels are you can see coming down here now it's a lot easier breaking into the last corner is a little bit more simple than it was before so uh, it looks like Brooks is going to take this one. Brooks is indeed Martel has managed to take another three tenths off him on the last lap but Brooks comes down to take the checkered flag 3488 was the time of the previous race 3454 so he's done it by about 3.4 seconds good job Christian Brooks and he takes ARX Q2 for day two here at Trois Rivières. Where was Brooks? Brooks was P2 before, and Pacoy has retired. So that's going to see Brooks move up into the TQ spot. So that's a tidy drive by him. Martel finished second to him. What was Martel's time? 3.46.1. So Martel's going to get P2 in this, and that's going to see him move up because Connor Martel was only P5 after the last session. And uh, 
a couple of the guys in front of him have had problems. So here we go, you'll get confirmation of all that. Picoy DNF, the engine we think, Cabot Bigham, DNS. Keys, Martel and Brooks over the line. You'll find where they slot in then to the uh, overall session. Anderson won the previous race and Martel's right up there. Look, so we'll bring you the standings after Q2 once we've had a look at some replays.